So we have Vladimir left, Novgorod left, and then that's basically it. I want to get all the du jour borders of the Empire of Russia. In fact, we've expanded out. Holy shit, we've expanded so far out beyond what we were supposed to have as well. We have taken Crimea. Um, perhaps we're not supposed to have taken Crimea, but I didn't realize that at the time. Why is Crimea part of them? What was the du jour empire of that? The Pontic Steppe. Huh. I, I suppose that would be, that would make sense because when you play in, uh, obviously without all these fucking randomized animal kingdoms and shit, you do play in, uh, or when you play, say, the Byzantine Empire, this is all steppe land, isn't it? Right, interesting. Okay, obviously it's Danish Slavic now because I've had my way with it, but, uh, yeah, look, Pcheneg, which is, uh, Altaic, and then Tengri as well, which is obviously the, the steppe religion. Right, okay, fair enough then. So, uh, can we move our capital? That's the first thing. We absolutely cannot, which is a shame because it means we can't do all the raiding features that I wanted to play with, but that's fine. Um, Queen Oster of Vladimir is an elephant? Right. I've got to re-familiarize myself with everything that's happening right now. So, we can't get to war because we, I'm guessing, yeah, we got raised diamond levels. Okay, fair enough. This is basically all we have left to do. We could just holy war and we could potentially do it right now. Like, we could potentially form Russia right now. Let's absolutely do it. Let's, 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 let's try and get this cracked out as soon as possible. Then, as far as this particular campaign goes, I'll see what other features we've got left to do with the whole, um, the whole Hemo arc thing. I want to find out how these, uh, the traits that we pick for our religion, how they, how they, in my opinion, they were the best ones. So I want to see how they interact with one another to, at the very end game level. And then from there, I'll be able to form better decisions if we ever do a proper long-form campaign where we're focused on reformation, whether or not these particular mechanics will show up again in that. Now, like I've said before, my, my biggest complaint so far with what I've taken relative to the new features, uh, taken with reformation, relative to the new features, the new tribal features, the new society features, is that they're stepping on each other's toes a lot. Right? We, have, we have like six or seven different what, methods of sacrificing people. And I imagine if you play as a Germanic pagan, that gets even worse because then you've also got access to the blots as well, right? So you've got like blots, you've got the warrior society battlefield sacrifices, we've got our blood games, which technically kind of count. Um, we've obviously got the right click sacrifice option on, on prisoners to sacrifice them to our gods. Uh, that's part of the bloodthirsty mechanic. It's like there's, there's a lot of different methods of sacrificing prisoners and I feel like... I feel like it's kind of a waste of time to have multiple ones. Does that make sense? Oh, we get a short sword? Each swing of my spears has sent me deeper into enemy territory, but before I know it, I'm surrounded. With a burst of energy, I roar loudly, calling a few of them to he hesitate. One soldier to stumble backwards, tripping over it. Drops his weapon in the snow. Um, adds a short sword to our treasury. We didn't really want that, but there's no downside in not taking it, right? Um, masterful short sword. Leaving the center plus 15%. Yeah, that's pretty good. How does that compare to our Zuj crossbow? Um, this gives double the personal combat. It gives us leading the center plus 15%, and it actually gives us... Better prestige. The downside is this one gives us the plus two martial and this one also gives us the plot power defense. I'm going to go with this. This, is this in my opinion, is an upgrade if we're actually leading troops this time. Did I accidentally unequip that book? Uh, no, I don't think I did. I think we're good. But we also got the economic principle, which is also crappy. So we, we've got the crap Chinese books. So next one, we should be okay. And we were leading center. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, look, battlefield jewels. Or we can put them away, right, and sacrifice them via the... Uh, we can go for war sacrifice as well. Like, there's so many different methods of sacrificing that I kind of feel it's unnecessary. Anyway, um, you guys said we need 50 sacrifices to get up to the Hema fund, the, the, the Hema arc level. That's what I want to try and achieve before we, uh, before we round things off. So let's sacrifice you boys. Um, goodbye. Sacrifice you. It's five more. That's another tenth of what we need, right? So hopefully with a few more wars. And I feel like raiding in combination with this could be an incredibly powerful combination, right? But outside of that, with all the extra blots and things, I don't know if it's that good. I need to do more. I need to get more experience with it. And that's that's the that's the, the real thing. Oh, there we go. Shit. We actually got it. The crowd below me cheers as the last head of my sacrifice rolls down the steps of the temple. I throw the heart in the sacred brazier, watching it hiss and burn and sing praises to the gods. They demand more blood. We're now a hemo arc. Given us piety, church opinion, same trait opinion, opposite trait opinion, and tribal vassal opinion. Playing tribal seems very, very powerful. Like, we've, we've managed to get so many tribal buffs for building the monument, for getting, you know, incredibly scarred, for becoming the Hemo art. Like, our tribal vassal opinion must be quite high now. Why do they not like us a ridiculous amount? Um, domain too big. Tyrant, ruthless, understandable, wrong... Oh, so these actually aren't our tribal vassals. Right, well, that would make sense, eh? Um, so let's find a regular old tribal vassal who doesn't like us and work out why. Dishonorable jewel. Too many how duchies, domain too big. Yeah, those are understandable. But besides that, this guy would fucking love us other than that. Grievously scarred, plus five. Hemo arc, plus fifteen. Um, we've got Merciless, plus 5. I'm just going by the new features, bear in mind. Merciless, plus 10. 
uh, Ruthless Jewelers plus 5. We've got Slav's Crown, Tribal, plus 10. How Blood Games as well, plus 10. There are so many additions in this to Tribal characters that it seems like if you want to play Tribal the entire game, you probably just could. There seems no downside to it. Oh my god, we lost straight Lustful. Have we not had a good sun yet, either? Um... Oh, we got Genius Sun. Right, Genius Jern. How could I forget of Genius Jern? Right, did we call our vassals into this? I completely forgot. Impressive. Right, let's go for more Battlefield Jewels then. We should be hunting down troops on the battlefield so we can actually imprison them and sacrifice them, eh? Um, seems like a, a much better idea to me than rather just, you know, let our vassals siege things down while we go ahead and, and actually hunt down people. Classic CK2. You found another way for me to kill even more people. Brilliant. All right, let's hunt them down, take them out. With movement lock, it would make things a little bit easier. If you're playing with Shattered Retreat, it'd obviously make things a lot harder. So bear those in mind, obviously, when you're setting up your game. Don't move your elbow, cheesy, because we have the genius trait. He's cheating. You fucker. What sort of weakling are you? Yeah, challenge me to a duel. I'll fight you. Yeah, challenge accepted. He's 37. We are 75. You are dead. Boom. Rimvadas. It was too easy. Excellent. And that was, was that an honorable duel? I'm not sure. Man, and these, hang on, these modifiers are permanent as well. Look at that. Ruthless Duelist, permanent. Jewel Victory, that one lasts a while. So that Renowned Duelist obviously builds up over time. And the Sex Appeal as well, the bonuses you can get from... Oh god, why did I do that? The bonuses you can get for that as well is, is kind of unbelievable. Damn, they've, they've really made it very, very viable to play a long-term tribal game now, which is kind of nice, you know? It was very lacking. Like I said last episode, tribal very much before that was just a stepping stone up to feudal or up to a republic. It felt like it was difficult to manage, particularly as you were expanding and conquering non-tribal realms. Obviously, people didn't like being ruled by a tribal ruler for understandable reasons. So, you know, it, it was a bit more of a pain in the ass. But now it seems like you could very much get away with it. Now, you guys also point out the one thing I could be doing that I personally don't like doing, just in case you, are, you have, uh, ever end up converted to feudal or republic, is pillaging the holdings, right? So say our capital here is has, you know, this. We can right-click, we can pillage and get rid of it. Um, we'll get bonuses every six months, tech points until it's completely destroyed. What would be a bad idea if we're going to stay tribal. Now, I did want to flip to republic. It's, it's basically, um, half of you think playing as Republic would be a good idea, half of you think playing Feudal is going to be a good idea. We might be playing as Feudal again soon, and my other campaign is Feudal as well, so I'm actually going to go, I'm going to overrule it, I'm going to go full Tyrant, and I'm going to play as uh, Republic this time around. Oh, they're all the way over there, shit, I thought it was a Rebellion up here, but that was a different Rebellion, eh? God damn it, okay. Call in the troops. Just because I feel like a blood-sacrificing, reaving band of a republic will get lots of gold and lots of prestige just seems like a good idea to me i don't know it just seems like it, it's it's very complimentary we're gonna get a shit ton of gold obviously getting the gold there's also a chance we can loot extra stuff because of the reaver trade so extra treasures that type of thing anybody we get we can either ransom off for gold or we can sacrifice them up for, for piety prestige that type of thing it just seems like everything works so nicely together that i uh, it would be a shame not to do it also i like playing as republics so i haven't played as a republic in ages so right um, what have we got to do then? I'll ask for help with managing my titles. Oh my god, we grabbed a load of shit, didn't we? Um, almost kind of tempted to pillage those holdings then in hindsight. Oh, we'll be alright. Um, right, so we want to go to this area and just give it away. What did we get? Veps? Was that it? Yeah, Duchy of Veps. Let's go and give that away to somebody. Uh, you'll do. Grant on a title. The, 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 the Veps. Council say no. Because they are returning favours to High Chief Ipeos. This dude, I assume. Yep, you are sacked in that case. Goodbye, Ipeos. Don't like the council system. Still think it's a bit dumb. Um, especially as... Oh no, this guy's causing the entire vote to be uh, ruined. Well, why don't we just fire him? He doesn't like us anyway, so who cares? Um, then we'll put a loyalist there instead. So, like her, for example, she's probably a little bit better. Um, Spymaster also hates us, but it doesn't matter that much, right? The only reason they hate us... You've got to also bear in mind, this is another big issue with the council system. They hate us because we're over our domain limit and have too many duchies. So I'm trying to give one away so they'll like us, and they're saying no. Just doesn't make any sense. I, I feel like it could do with some work still. Please tell me we are close to Russia. We can make it. Boom. Wait. Change. Oh, there it is. Someone play play the anthem. Play that USSR anthem. At maximum volume. Blow my ears out again. Thanks, Twitch chat. Holy shit, we've done it. That looks nice. It's a shame we're about to be crushed by the Mongols and then also crushed by the Aztecs if we're not careful. That's not where Jerusalem is. Wait, hang on. Jerusalem and Jer Are you a tributary? They actually are. The whole of Egypt and sort of like Eastern Africa there, grabbed by Jerusalem as a tributary. Arabia formed. They're massive. Um, India's a massive mess. In, in the mod, not in general. Aztecs are huge, as you would kind of expect. I believe they're still the elephant people, right? Yeah, the elephant Aztecs are huge. Um, Zoroastrian. Zoroastrian? 
I don't know what I expected, but that was not it. Dragon Amulet would be so good to get. I might go and steal that from him in a minute. All right, then. So, what's next? I want to reform to a republic. I want to see how that plays for, you know, maybe a couple of generations. And then, I mean, I don't really know what else to do with this. I feel like we've seen all the features we can see from the tribal part of things. Really, I've got to play as a Christian to get the rest of those mechanics in my mind. So, doing the whole Deus Vault thing might be what I do next. I don't know. I'll put up a poll before we uh, really come to a conclusion here. I'm moving capital anyway, so this is all just for show, these tech point gains. Um, why can't we move to here? We've still got to wait like a shit ton, right? 285 months. Let me do some maths here. So, that's 285 divided by 12. So, that's roughly 23 years. How old are we now? We are 37. We could potentially form the Republic with this character, assuming we survive for that long. Um, it's a possibility. I'm not going to bank on it, though. I feel like it could be... Impossible, but we'll wait and see. Um, what's left to do? Do we have, like, uh, claims? Do we have du jour claims on anywhere? We're gonna liberate them from the Mongol Empire. I don't really plan on doing that, though, seeing how powerful they are. All right, we've got to, we've got to start dealing with these council laws now, because this is kind of ridiculous. How are we doing in terms of succession laws? Um, oh my god, I'm looking on the wrong screen here. Not succession laws, sorry. The, uh, the organization women maximum could centralize. Give us more domain size, but less vassal limit. Our vassal limit actually could take the minus five and be fine, so I'm gonna do that so we can keep our domain together. Done. Do you guys want to vote on that very quickly? It might say no. Now, to be fair, I'm buying votes anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're trying to call in council support. This gives us a good idea of... This guy's going to vote against us because he kind of really doesn't like us from what I recall. Yeah, six. So I'm going to buy a favor from you. You're going to say no. What if we send him a gift then try and buy a favor? Um, still no. Well, they've approved it anyway. Now, obviously, we want to pass the council laws instead. Um, l let's wait for five years. Then let's go for... Um, Let's go for grant titles first. The only reason I wanted to do that one immediately is because that gave us exactly the, 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 the domain size we needed, which means people will like us a bit more. Christ, I couldn't say that. All right. Um, we, well, I forgot this. What is this? Home guard. Oh, we do have home guard. Right, here you go. That's probably why this guy doesn't like us, eh? Because we got his uh, desires achieved from home guard. You know what? You can have that. Honestly, I'm sorry. That was, that was greedy of me to take that from you. There you go. All right. Everybody should be happy now. Everyone's going to love us. I mean, what is there to do? We could just go raiding a shit ton. We could um, send a gift to China. What do they want? 600 gold? Ugh. It's two-fifths of an artifact, though, so I'm kind of going to say that's fine. You want tra tapestry? Was it worth it? Jesus. 600 gold for two-fifths. So that means a fifth is uh, 200 gold. So we basically paid it. We're paying 1,000 gold per artifact at the current exchange rate. So what do we just pay 1,000 gold for? We paid 1,000 gold for minus two short reign years. Was that worth it? I mean, I feel like no is the answer. Olav. Olav the crappy. Olav the terrible. You guys have been telling me about the bloodlines a little bit more and how I should be farming them up and how we are kind of close to being able to start a new bloodline. Um, I don't entirely know how. It Wait, we can do a war sacrifice even though we're not at war? I thought we had to be at war for that. Oh, no, hang on. We have to be at war to do the, the mass sacrifice. Yeah. Oh, my God. So there's a war sacrifice and there's a mass sacrifice as well. Jesus. And we can sacrifice to the ancestors. The more, I, the more I play, the more I realize how a lot of these things were kind of pointless taking them alongside one another. I'll be able to assist in the next blood games, my leash. Thank you. Get me the toughest of our prisoners. She's got 17 personal combat. Get me the most vicious commander. Oh, can I recruit her and actually take her as my own? Because she's pretty decent. 21. Attractive. Quick. Uh, well, I'm going to recruit you. And I'm going to take you as a concubine. I'm going to demand religious conversion. I'm going to say no. I'm going to send you a gift. I'm going to demand religious conversion. Then you're going to say yes. Um, the most vicious commander. 32. Yeah, absolutely. You get in there. Fight for me, and I will even buy you the best equipment money can buy. All right, come on, let's win the blood games. Thank you. And then you are going to be taken as a concubine. Boom. And then I'm going to award you the honorary title of Master of the Blade. So now she really, really loves us, despite the fact that she was in prison for ages, and, we, uh, and we've and we now basically forced her into being our sex slave. Pretty good. Only, only plus 79, though. All right, blood games. We are going to win this one. Yes. Excellent. He's on... Doubtably blessed by the name of my dynasty. You are... Oh, hang on. Olav Sharp Teeth. House Egg. Excellent. I knew it was the chosen one. 30 piety. My god, how many kills are we up to now then? We've got to be... Rack we've racked up 76 kills. Unbelievable. Um, are the Mongols at war? What happens if we siege down the Mongol capital while they're not at war? Oh my god, they're at war with the Aztecs. <laughs> um, huh. Yeah, look at that. This would, this would net you an achievement if you were playing Iron Man right now. You would actually, you get an achievement out. There's no reason I'm not playing Iron Man. Why didn't I play as Iron Man? Oh, we've got Flogi's Tech Mod installed, but that's it. We haven't really done anything with Flogi's Tech Mod anyway. Um, yeah, so that's how you get the achievement. Aztecs fight the Mongols, and then, you know, achievement get. All right, then. Well, um, that's not ideal. Oh, my God. Who's trying to kill it? Do we actually know who it is? We actually don't. 
Brilliant. Okay, then. Um, we die. Fuck's sake. Sivered. Who's trying to kill me, though? We're quite well liked, though, aren't we? Uh, vassal opinion is probably going to be all of our feudal vassals, I would assume. Yep, that's not good at all. Although, everyone else kind of likes us. Stuttery Sivered, the soul player, dies at the age of 40. Let me just, before we let him die, make sure everybody is set up properly. Our daughter. Oh, my God, it's Gavelkind. Oh, God. Oh, we've got an Empire level tile. It's fine. We are now playing as a 12-year-old girl. We actually want to play as... Who do we want to play as? Um, we actually want to play as, as I recall... Um, Genius Jern. We want to play as Genius Jern. Shit, we might have stuck killing off our entire family tree then. Um, we can't plot to kill them because we are a child. God fucking damn it, game. Oh my god, I just taken Crimea. Jern. Jern is taking Crimea as well. Can we just, like, abdicate to him? Can we just, just abdicate? Can we just abdicate? Maybe we could just abdicate? Oh, well, that was easy. Uh, Keith has inherited the kingdom of Conangard from King Slab II. What the hell happens at. Wait, King Slab II was our brother. Uh, murders on the order of the High Chief Ionikos of Holmgard. High Chief. Well, he was called the Butcher. Um, oh, shit, hang on. Was this dude. Now, I'm not entirely certain, so I might be accusing the wrong dude. Was he not the spy master who disliked our last character? And probably, potentially, also the dude who killed off our last character as well? Maybe? Cruel, deceitful, 27 intrigue, and he's an elusive. All right, hang on. Going against the counselors of this tyranny. Oh, unsurprisingly, he does one of. Oh, he's is he actually asked by? Oh, um, <laughs> feel like you might be sacked just for reasons. Don't worry about it too much. Oh shit, come on. Um, how about now? Can we imprison him? Oh god, we've got a massive. What was it? What's this rebellion? Hang on. Um, Voin of the Conangard Revolt. Oh, this must have been a revolt against our brother, and we inherited... Yeah, okay, I see, right. Uh, a little bit annoying, then. Okay, call the vassals in. Fight this revolt that isn't actually against us, but on behalf of us now. Um, get rid of these boys. God fucking damn it. All right. Don't like inheriting wars. I think that's dumb, especially because this guy might be happy to us to be his... It, for us to be his liege. Um, especially if he's... Hey, he'd have defeated my brother and we were his heir, then we would have taken that anyway, right? Unless it wasn't a deposition war, unless it was for this guy pushing his claim or something. Um... Oh no, he actually just wants the kingdom of. Con oh, it's a peasant. It's a it's a it's a regular old revolt, right? Sorry, I thought it was a vassal revolt. Me being a fool. Um, speaking of fool, what was that? Did I just take a river crossing into more men? Get the ambitious. Sure, why not? We might as well put our eggs in this basket just in case we fail. Oh, thank God they reinforced. Our vassals actually did something good for a change, right? Stay there. Uh, siege that one back. Thank you very much. And it's capital, and we should be good. What a little bit of an inconvenience. I mean. The bigger inconvenience is that we've lost Crimea. So now we either find, need to find a way to play as Jern, or we need to um, revoke it from him and then keep playing as this character. But obviously, you know, after we've taken Crimea back to make it our capital. God damn it. Oh shit, that worked out well. As my troop ransacked the castle of Karostan, they uncovered the dragon amulet. So, dragon amulets are one of the better Chinese artifacts. Uh, that's going to give us. Oh my god, we've got so much now. That's going to give us build cost minus 10%. Prestige, do a Japan vassal opinion. So that's quite a nice little artifact to have picked up there. Right, let's just quickly... Oh my god, please. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Right, crush this one first. And then take you guys out. You guys can have peace. There you go. Oh, he was a vassal. Right, uh... Don't know anything about it, though. Like, we can actually do fuck all about it. Oh! <laughs> Thank god I noticed that. Okay, vassals. Vassals, it turns out I need your help. I need your strongest warriors. All right, um... We'll go ahead and just have everyone meet up here. On the other side of this river, that seems safe. Oh god, they're getting crushed. Get the trade temperate and 20% chance of becoming stressed. We got both. Typical, of course we would. Right, there we go, we're good. Kill them all. Alright. What a good start for young Gida. Chernoban Gida, head of the faith and empress of Russia. Uh, oh god, a host war as well. Impressive. Oh, I didn't give him... Right, so Grant Lance out Colm. I didn't give him any of the lower stuff. Council vote no, because they're being dicks. Yeah. Okay. Right, we are a thrifty clerk. Oh, God. I thought that was us then. I was going to say we're hideous, but that's our fat, ugly mother. Right. <laughs> Let's take rulership and try and die. On the plus side, we've fallen a jewel and now we're wounded. This is great. Okay, so this society is so, so overpowered when it comes to actually, uh, you know, getting doing duels and getting yourself killed via that method. Now, unfortunately... We can't go, we can't duel while we're at war, so we have to deal with everything else first. Oh god, we healed from wounded almost instantly there, that's unfortunate. Right, um, who are we at war with? We're at war with this prick. Hey, leave. Thank you. Another one bites the dust, thank you very much. 
100% war score with one of them. Oh, that was the host war. Right, got it. That one's dealt with. Oh, God, the succession. I've got to keep tidying up the ram every single time we die. A little bit annoying that Slab died so young, because he was going to be the guy to lead us to glory. The founder of Russia dies a year later. Right, 100% war score on you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. I need to go to battle so I can die. And who else was it? Oh, wait, seriously? There's one province declared war on us? You're insane. You were insane if you thought... Yeah, I don't think we even need to go over there, do we? I think our vassals have dealt with that for us. Thank you, vassals. Right, troops down. All right, and peace is done. Why did he do that? That seems like such a weird play. I feel like the AI could do with some tweaking. Right, speaking of tweaking, we're about to get killed. Um, members of the society, clever hands. Clever hands, duel me. Duel me to the death, clever hands. He said no, because he's pathetic. Uh, no, duel me. Pathetic. Uh, Khan Kag... Ch 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 Chagri, fight me. Pathetic. Can we, can we just keep doing it over and over and again, for what I recall? Yeah, there we go. Kill me. Severely injured. That's a great start. Uh, can we fight you again? Oh, because we've been in a recent duel. We have to wait. Okay. We might just die of this, though. That'd be great. Oh, thank God. Right, there's one down. Goodbye. And now we're playing as Signy the Second, um, who is apparently troubled pregnancy. Oh, yes. Please die. Come on. Die. Uh, I can do this on my own. I just need to enjoy the pain. Die. Will it end? Vomiting. Die. This is a great start. This is horrible. Rash. Please die. Let it stop, please. Cramps. Die. Shattered daughter. God damn it. Place to drill. Please, come on. Die. Come on. Lose the trade trouble pregnancy. Are you fucking shitting me? She's a dwarf. Uh, let me in the society. I want to fight. I'm ready to fight someone so we can play as germ. A demonstration duel, huh? Where did I go wrong? We lose duel against wounded. That seems like a great start to me. Speaking of germ, is he being educated? Not that we can do anything about that. Uh, j j j germ. The j j germ is being educated by... Oh, shit. Rowdy Willful. He's going to turn out an incredible military genius if we can get to him in time. Um, what are they educating him, though? Learning? His name is Jern, not J Jerning. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know where I was going with that one. Right, we're in the society. Hey, uh, clever hands. Hey, bearhead. Someone fight me, please. Fight me and kill me. Um, you killed my last character. Wait, why can't we duel anyone? Are we still too recent from our last duel? We are. Black eye till the 20th of October. Classic. All right, thank God for that. All right, now we are genius, Jern. I fixed everything. You guys have no faith. Oh, man, he's so bad. How did this happen? Our sister is better. I might play as our sister, because she's just better in every conceivable way. Genius, Jern, what the fuck? Shy, stubborn, chaste, honest, paranoid, genius, scholarly theologian. And if we played as our sister, we'd also unify the realm as well in the process. So, I mean, genius, Jern, I'm sorry, you two are going through the Champions of Payroon ringer. Feeling injured? Well, that's a start. Well, this time we lost a leg. Ever closer to, uh, ever closer to dying. Oh my god, then we're gonna play as a stupid fucking child, though. Get rid of it. I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. Get rid of it. Right, there's no shame in acknowledging a worthy opponent. Brilliant. Successful Great Holy War. <laughs> I've, I've lost the will to live at this thing. Severely injured. Yeah, okay. Now die. We gain severely injured. Did he also gain? He also was severely injured. He's got 96 personal combat. We've got minus three. How did we do that? For the love of God, really? We're maimed. We're severely injured. We're one-eyed and one-legged. And still this dude can't, can't kill us. Take me out. For God's sake, let me play as the next character. Thank the fucking Lord. It took a guy with 38 personal combat to finally kill him. Good God. Right. We've unified the round once again. gavelkind has been beaten by my um, horrible, horrible metagaming. Good. So, we have everything back, right? Yeah, we have actually, absolutely have everything back right now. We need to give away some shit as well. Um, Grant Lanatar, you can have the you can have the whatever it's called. Of, um, oh, God. We need a council first. Please, let me just form the Republic. Please. I've had enough. I don't want to play Gavelkind anymore. I want to get off Mr. Gavelkind's wild ride. Um, there, and court chaplain just basically... Ah! Nobody likes me. By favours. Um, buy, buy, buy favors? No. Please, just let me buy some favors for fuck's sake. This game. Just let me, let me play the game. Good lord. Send gifts, right. Okay, look, we've got four of them. Buy favor from you. Yes, you're a sensible man. Send gift. Yes, buy, buy favor from you. Sensible man. Sensible man. 200 gold. No. Please, I just want to give out some titles so you'll like me again. Hate you because you have too many titles, but we're not going to let you have a, give out any titles because we hate you. Fucking stupid game for idiots. It's a big stupid idiot game and I hate it. Buy favor. Buy. Someone's getting sacked. Like, if I can't buy favors, one, right, a chancellor, you're sacked. Get out. I don't know who you are. Get out. Right, same gift. Good. Buy favor. Good. Right. Problem solved. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this. We're going to go, uh, I can grant all the titles I want. 
because that is me, and I am the leader of this kingdom, this empire. I built it with my fair hands. Um, calling council support. Those guys are doing it anyway, so no need to call it on those boys. All right. Um, let's just make sure they're actually going to vote in favour of that. Hey, there we go. Now I can actually give out titles that make everyone like me. Oh, suddenly. N yeah, you're not so bad. Now that you've given out all those titles that you had way too many of. Yeah, no shit. God damn, I hate the AI. Right, what else have we got that I don't want? Uh, Finland tribe. Oh, we've got Homeguard back again. All right. Uh, Homeguard's back together again. Tra -la -la -la. Right, what do you want? You want Homeguard, I assume. That's probably why she doesn't like me, to be fair, because I've got all of her friggin' du jour duchy. Um, she wants Colm and Lagoda. Right, Colm for you. Lagoda. Col. Wait. Can I form a Merchant Republic as a lady? Is that just going to break the game? What else have I got? Wait, la, 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 what? What did you want? What's control of the chief? Uh, right, there you go, fair enough then. Perfect, problem solved, eh? Was to way over our vassal limit, and I'm not sure how this has happened, probably because we've got too many duchies again. Um, Crimea, Vol Volinia. Yeah, somebody, somebody takes off my hands. Here, Grantland title, Volinia. Perfect, problem solved. Right, and that has actually not solved any problems at all, because our limit is now disgustingly absurd. Right, make crown focus, build that market city, I'm out. I'm not playing the Gavokine game anymore, I hate it. So now all we have to do is not be a lady, and the series is done. Oh, well, the series isn't done, but the, uh, the, the Republic is done until I decide what else we want to do with it. Um, you need to go. You need to go. You're joining the Champions of Perun, and you are also going to throw yourself into the meat grinder, my friend. We don't have a son, that's a daughter. That's a daughter. That is a daughter. Oh my god, this game. Pulling the plug. We're out. I'm pulling the plug. I'm done with it. <laughs> this was supposed to be a research series, then, and I just wanted to see, out of my own personal curiosity, what a republic would be. But you know what? We formed Russia. We've got all of the... I've, I've, I know how the society works and how the bloodlines work. I know how the Hemohark stuff works. I know how reforming religion works. I know that it's possible to play as tribal now. The only thing is we haven't experienced are the new Deus Vault mechanics. Because obviously we're not a Christian, right? Besides that, I feel like I've got a, got a pretty good hand on this already. I already have started to realize some exploits as well that we can try and implement in a future series. If you've got any ideas for the next series, I'm going to be asking below. I'll run a poll tomorrow and then we'll see what we are left with. Thank you for watching. Man, I feel like I need a break with this one. This, this one's this one's taken out of me. Gavelkind, uh, Gavelkind fucked me a lot. I was trying to just play entirely as tribal, but next time I still know. Fuck Gavelkind, honestly. Driven me mad. Big shout out to my insane top tier level patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Halting, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Jackson Whitman, Escape, Croesus, James Ogilvy, Paul, Conspired Scene, Necrofilm, Michael Mullen, Haydog, Orcs Wolf, Josh Lindin, Tesla, Logan Thorne, Average Gamer 419, and I'm Melinda King for their support of the insane tier levels on Patreon. And a big shout out to Nathaniel Limburg, Fakuno Vasquez, Felix Deal, Quint Lutchley, Brandon Montoniak, Polemaster, Everqueen is Waifu, Quasar Fox, Chris, Joseph Fear, Sir Thor the Swede, Nick, Sedini, Asro, Jack Allen, Euphrates, Jordan Campbell, Euron the Vries, Dunk on 27, and the many, many others over at Patreon as well. Thank you all for your support. Cool.